Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jakey K Tag, and today we're back at it again, ready to dominate level 13s with 2.6 Hog Rider. Level 13 players bridge spam constantly, and with the defensive capability of the Ice Golem kiting units to the opposite lane and the high damage of the Musketeer, you can defend against almost any push. So let's go jump straight into some games and assert some dominance with our level 11 Hog Rider deck against a whole bunch of level 13s. And a huge shout out to all of you guys that are using Critic Code Sir Tag in any Supercell game. All money made from Creator Code Sir Tag improves the channel's setup, editing, and allows me to upload daily videos while I take full-time college courses. So thank you guys for supporting me and helping me grow the channel. So we got a game against a level 13, a living, breathing Pokemon that we have never seen before. And he says, have fun with this clan name. Wow. Okay, dude. All right. I guess we'll have fun against the double spawners. <laughs> All right, let's see how we do here. I think that our Musketeer will be able to win the battle at the river, allowing us to kill all the Spear Goblins, potentially destroy the hut. We kill the hut, and we can go for a Hog Rider in the opposite lane, right? We can at least do that. So, we have more damage than the right, though. Do we want to do it? No, nah, I'm going to go left. Can't go into a Witch. It is against my religion to give you Elixir-efficient trades. So, I'm going to go for an Ice Golem, and then we're going to go for a Skellies on top of the Witch to finish it off. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure that the Ice Golem does not kill it. So I need to go for a Musketeer after. The Skellies are still swarming me. The horrible fact that you guys probably know now is your Ice Spirit, it doesn't kill Fire Spirits that are level 13. Your Tower, it's not going to be able to shot Goblins twice. You need to be able to go in for Goblin Counter a three hits with your Tower. Also, Ice Golem, it's not going to kill level 13 Bats. It's not going to kill level 13 Skeletons. It's a gruesome fate, guys. Every single time we see it, it's spooky. Usually, witches are laughable. You see them, you're like, ah, can't believe anyone would ever run that card. But, you know, at this range, it's very scary. I can go in for skellies in the back and maybe go for an ice golem if we want to. But for the most part, it's better for us to just go for a cannon because it's going to be able to kill those fire spirits and put up a fight against the witch afterwards. So, he literally just lightning. <laughs> you know what that tells me? He doesn't care about elixir efficiency. It's against his religion to spend elixir efficiently. So I can go in for a hog rider. I can also go in for a ice spirit. He's gonna go in for a spear goblin hut probably in the middle. You have to, right? Do you not have elixir for it? Wait, he went for Valkyrie and he went in for a furnace. That means that he doesn't have anything. He dropped eight elixir. Of course you're not gonna be able to afford the five elixir hut. So he's gonna fireball. Wait, he's got fireball lightning. He literally is Fireball Lightning Witch Wizard. Only the Avatar mastered all four elements. It's so weird that he's got double spells, he's got double five elixir cards that no one else runs. This guy's a wild one. And we're about to lose too. Like we're only up 400 damage. This is insane. So we can go for a log. I think that we're gonna hit the Spear Goblin as well. I'm gonna Fireball, try to just get more chip damage. We need to go in for a Musketeer up high. Go for an Ice Golem, so if he goes in for a Wizard, it's going to lock onto that instead. Yo, if we win the battle at the river with a Log, that could be clean. We just need to keep the Musketeer alive long enough, guys. That's all we care about here. So two Fireballs and we walk away with the wind. but I know he's going to Lightning, so I can't do that. He's going to Lightning, and then the Wizard would just straight up take my tower. So you have to wait for one Fire Spirit to die, then we can Fireball, cycle vigorously back, and walk away with the wind. Here we go, guys. This is what we are made of. We are a athlete, mobile gaming athlete. We are pedaling to the metal. There is no one that bikes faster than us. GG, well played, a peace out. We biked faster than any Olympian there. <laughs> that felt so good. Much love, man. He wished us to have fun in that game, and I certainly did, man. I appreciate the good vibes. All right, guys, so we got a level 13 on our hands. Let's see if we can punish the Punisher. We're saucing out a Hog Rider, and he's got Executioner and Electro Wizard. Oh my goodness, they're star leveled too. What are you doing, bro? So we're going to be able to go in for a log on top of the Goblin Barrel, shut that down completely. And I don't think we're taking any damage here. I can go for a Skellies just for a faster cycle to eliminate the Executioner. Not going to take a single hit on our tower. And then we can go for a Hog Rider pretty quickly if we need to. I'm waiting to see if he wants to go for a Miner. Because he's not, I'm going to Fireball it. I was hoping we would be able to hit the Miner and the Minion Horde at once but he just wants to go in for a naked minion horde at the river. This guy, he has absolutely no chill. We need to go for a musketeer to be able to kill that. Otherwise it gets hits on our tower and I'm not about that life at all. So you've got hog rider, minion horde, executioner, electro wizard. I don't know what you're running. I have no clue. So musketeer is going to force out some more elixir. We get a 
Valkyrie, okay. I'm just surprised every single turn that we're taking, it's like we're on the windy pathway and I have no clue what's gonna happen. So he's gonna go for poison on me. Generally wanna go opposite lane. That's his first ounce of chip damage on our tower. And you know what? That feels like it's a golem hit or a giant hit on my tower. That's a lot of damage. At least the Ice Gold finishes off the Valkyrie and we can go for Nice Spirit behind. So then the Ice Spirit's gonna make sure that the Electro Wizard is gonna get stunned for a little bit of time and then we can get Skellies down on the Electro. So we have started our progression. We've got a little bit of chip on the left. I know I wanna go for a Musketeer and an Ice Gold because it gives me counter push potential. Oh my goodness, dude. That barely got the Goblin to retarget at the last second. So we're in a decent spot, but I can't really catapult too much Elixir at him safely. I need to go for a Hog Rider, so the Musketeer is going to be separated, so the Executioner targets that instead. And then I think he's going to go for a Valkyrie, so I don't really want to go for an Ice Spirit. I expect that to be a Valkyrie, right? Yeah, he did it too late, though! I knew your card cycle. I adjusted for any possibility. And you're going to go for a Poison, too. What's up with that, bro? You keep spamming cards that you shouldn't. We can go for a really high cannon put to go and pull the Hog Rider into that. It's not going to get hit by the Poison. And then you're going to have to spend Elixir on that. Okay, that's a little bit further back, so we're going to log. And I can go for a Hog Rider. Ooh, so here's the issue. My Ice Golem doesn't kill the Skeleton Army that he's going to drop. So I need to cycle back to Log. He doesn't think that I'm back to Log. We're doing it, baby. Let's go. Prediction part two. We knew we would go for a Valkyrie early on, but we couldn't capitalize on it. But we can capitalize on the go in for the Skarmy. Why would you do that? So, like, him going for the Skarmy when we had the correct card cycle was amazing. We can go for a Hog Rider. He's still not going to be back to Skarmy. Definitely need to hit the log on the Goblin Barrel. That is directly on my tower. He's going to go in for a Electro Wizard, and it's going to get shut down by a Musketeer. And I think we got this game under wraps. There's no chance, right? We just need to get one more Hog Rider through when he's forced to go for a Skarmy. Go for the log. And I think we can, can defend against every single Goblin Barrel with either a Musketeer or going in for a Fireball if we really need to. I'm going to pre-log to pay the pathway for the Hog Rider, and we win the game. Let's go. That was two predictions on Skarmies today. Love seeing that. We punish the Punisher, destroying level 13s. All right, we got a game against this Shifter. What is up, my dude? We're going to sauce out of good luck, and I can go for an Ice Spirit, but it's not going to reach the tower, so we learned our lesson. We are not doing that today. Not here, sir. I can go for a Musketeer in the back and just go and cycle that if you're going to go in for a Firecracker. So when I see Firecracker, could be a real giant if it's a real deck, but usually at this trophy range, you never know what they're running, so I'm not going to make a prediction. I'm just going to go for a Hog Rider, shut down the Firecracker, and I'm glad that I didn't make a prediction because he's got Mini Pekka with Wizard. How often do you see that, guys? Maybe you see it a lot, but I never see that. We're going to be able to destroy the Mini Pekka and kite the Valkyrie to the opposite lane with an Ice Golem. So at this point, we know the bats don't die to the Ice Golem. Very unfortunate tactic for this man. However, yeah, you know what? He actually counters us with bats. He killed an Ice Golem with bats. That's not supposed to work, right? I feel like that goes against the gravity and the rules of Clash Royale. <laughs> this man is defying all logic at the expense of my towers. I'm going to go for a Hog Rider here. Maybe he goes in for a Skarmy. I'll get ready with my log. No, he's got Mega Knight. So we're going to activate King Tower. We definitely want to activate King Tower against that Mega Knight. So I'm going to get ready and raring to go with my cannon. We'll go in for Skeletons afterward. And you're going to Mini Pekka. Oh, no. Can I even activate King Tower right now? I don't think so, because then the mini pack would just win them the game. Yeah, I, I'm looking at this and I'm hoping that it works, but I can't guarantee it. So we need to isolate the mini pack away from the Mega Knight, and I still might lose. I need to log that because the mini pack is going to get hit. Not just one hit, plural, two hits. We're now at 920 HP after I played that as possibly as well as I possibly could have. So I don't know what to say, guys. I'm scared. My man's got Mini Pekka Mega Knight, and he's level 13. He is a savage. I'm going to fireball the entirety of the goblins. I know that the Valkyrie's going to die. Because we have King Tower activated, maybe I can come back if he doesn't have a big spell. So pray for me. Right now, stop the video. Pray for me in the comment section. Please. I need a miracle. Just say, Jake, I hope that your opponent doesn't have a lightning, rocket, fireball, or poison. We have simple needs. So he's going to go for a Mini Pekka. I think we're going to be able to go and kill it for... A juicy elixir trade with our musketeer. He's gonna Mega Knight on me. I can go for a cannon, get an ice golem down here. I really hope that we see more fireball value. What? How does that hit my tower? Oh no, that's absurd. So I'm gonna log here. I need to get a ice spirit. I don't think the Mega the Mega Knight jumped on my tower too. 
What is going on, man? Okay, Firecracker's gonna die, right? If we log and get skeletons down, he's got poison. That's cheating, man. We said you weren't allowed to have that card. Does it do enough damage? At tournament standard, it doesn't. Eight HP, guys. Eight HP in a dream. Fireball, one more hit. We might win the game. No way. Let's go, baby. Eight HP. <laughs> I can't believe we just won that. That's insane. All right, so we got a game here. I'm gonna sauce out a good luck and we're gonna see what's up. We're gonna rush through with the hog rider. Immediately goes in for a level 13 Tesla. Come on, dude. Are you kidding me right now? Level 13 with level 13 Tesla. As long as you don't have Pekka or Mega Knight with this, we will be okay. So I'm hoping it's just gonna be like a casual expo level 13 player without the absurd Mega Knight Teslas that you see at this trophy range. He is gonna poison me and he's gonna log the Musketeer. So he doesn't know that poison just straight up kills Musketeer. That's good for us. The Valkyrie would have held it there too. I need to go in for an Ice Golem after the Ice Spirit ends up stunning the Valkyrie because the Valkyrie would still go towards our tower if the Ice Golem started walking in the right and then the skeletons were like pulling it to the left. Are you kidding me right now? I cursed myself. Flashback. As long as you don't have Pekka or Mega Knight with this, we will be okay. I said, as long as he doesn't have Mega Knight plus Tesla, we win. And guess what he has? Mega Knight plus Tesla, man. So I'm gonna try to get away with the Musketeer here and then we're gonna get away with an Ice Spirit after so we can go and pull the Mega Knight to the King Tower. At least the wizard dies, but look at our tower. It's also basically dead. I'm gonna go for a Hog Rider with the Musketeer and please don't have Pekka. You got lightning, you're insane, man. Hog Rider is gonna give us one hit, but that's not good. This is no bueno. I need to win this game. Please, Clash Trial. <laughs> Mr. Mega Knight Lightning Tesla. How do you come up with this? This is why you guys like when I play underleveled ladder. Because I get tortured. I look at these games and I'm like, yeah, you know, this probably isn't very fair. I feel really bad for every single one of you that has to experience something similar to this. I'm literally going to get poisoned and lightninged out while this man defends with his level 13 tower, level 13 Tesla, and level 13 Mega Knight. I don't see how that's very fair. But you know what? I want to go for a Hog Rider if he Mega Knights here. That would be ideal. No, he's just going to Valkyrie. So he's going to save enough Elixir for the Mega Knight whenever he needs to. Oh my goodness. So he's just going to straight up lightning me. Wait. If we Hog Rider and push the Musketeer a little bit to the right, we could potentially break through. Come on, Musketeer. Lock onto the tower. You're on the edge of glory. You're on the precipice of something great. But you really don't care about me, Muskie. You don't care one bit. Oh my God. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, I'm going to lose all my hair. I'm literally going to be, before I'm 30, guys, I'm going to lose all my hair. If I end up playing this, if I play under level ladder, <laughs> oh, this is the most stressful thing I've ever seen in my life. I can't believe it. I'm at a loss of words. How do you guys do this? How do you guys do this to yourselves? Pain. Suffering. I haven't ever, ever experienced level 13 Bowler Mega Knight Tesla. That is the scariest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. On to the next one. Hopefully we get a better matchup than that. Please Clash Rail. I'm begging. Have mercy on my soul. All right, so we got a game against a level 13. We're gonna sauce out a good luck, but we really should not give him any luck, guys. That's gonna work against us. I have to casually cycle my Ice Spirit in the back, hoping that he cycles something into us, because we know if we cycle at the river, it's not hitting his tower. We're gonna log back the Hog, hit the Goblin Gang as well, and I could go for a Hog Rider with the Skeletons, but I don't wanna get too presumptuous. I don't wanna get too feisty. I can go for a hog on the right. I can go with my ice spear and try to barrel down that lane because he's going to consistently cycle stuff on the left. You know what? I need to get an elixir advantage before I do that. Yeah, this guy's casually got a hog rider giant deck. What is happening, man? I don't understand. Also, by the way, my fireball plus log does not kill a witch. So I need to get the ice golem to explode on it or something. I'm hoping... No, it just didn't. It literally just decided nope. It noped out of there so fast. Musketeer is going to be able to destroy him. He's going to go for a Hog Rider right into a cannon. Only level 13 things, guys. Uh, I, I, I probably shouldn't have done that. Only level 13 things. 
when they overestimate how good their cards are because they're used to winning no matter what they do by just spamming cards with their forehead on the screen. They're literally playing with their forehead, man. Anyway, we can go in for the skellies in the back, see what this dude's gonna do. I know that he's probably gonna go for like a witch. And if he goes for a witch, I, I can just go for another musketeer because he'll overcommit and then we'll get counter push. So first and foremost, yep, we want to go for the Musketeer in the same lane. Rinse and repeat the transactions that worked out for us last time. That's what we got to do if we want to win this one. So I'm going to go for the Cannon, just go and pull the Giant. I can get away with another Ice Golem. Please go for a Valkyrie. Drop more Fireball value. You know you want to, brother. If you don't, oh yes, 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 yes. Skeletons don't die, so I need to log them. They're literally like another log bait card. Which is double log bait with Goblin Gang. It's not fair at all, man. He's getting more damage on our tower, and I think I couldn't have done a better defense. So, we'll see what we can do here. He's going to go for a Hog Rider. I need to get a Cannon down and an Ice Golem with Skellies. That should be able to shut him down. I don't think I need a Log. We're going to have to wait and see. With the Remnants of the Cannon, I think we're okay. He gets one hit, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to go Hog in the opposite. Try to bait out some Elixir, whether it's a Valkyrie or anything. I'll be fine with it. Please, sir, drop something on that Hog Rider. Okay. He dropped a Musketeer. I can Ice Spirit on top of the Witch and the Skellies. The Witch will die. I can go for an Ice Golem to go and protect my Muskie. And then I can go for a Skeleton Surround on top of his. So with our tower, being able to focus down the Musketeer, we can use that as a resource so we don't have to spend more Elixir. It's great if we're able to separate his pushes like that, because then we can actually use our second tower in situations that would never happen. So his Giant's going straight into us. I'm going to cycle a Musketeer with the Cannon on the map. He's going to go in for a Hog Rider soon. I'll have to Fireball the Witch and the Hog Rider, I think. Oh, you know what? If you want to give me 8 Elixir Fireball, I'll take it. I'm down. I'm D DTF down to Fireball, you brother. What did he just say? We're going to go in for... No, I don't want to log. I really don't want to. I want to log the right because he's going to Goblin Gang there. Why would you not Goblin Gang? Is, do is defending against your religion? Like, what's happening? Okay, so he just ate... Like a million Hog Rider damage. We're going to eat a ton from the Goblins because guess what? The Goblins don't die in two hits. It takes three hits for my tower to finish one off. I'm going to go for a Fireball. One more Hog Rider hit and we seal his fate. GG. Well played and peace out. I am so glad we ran away with that victory. I was not expecting to win that one at all. It's really difficult defending against Hog Riders and Giants because you kind of need the cannon for both of them. Fortunately, with our opposite lane aggression, he wasn't able to allocate all of his elixir on offense. All right, so we got a game against another level 13. What is happening, my dude? I'm going to sauce out a good luck, and my ice spirit doesn't reach your tower, so I'm just going to casually cycle it in the back. What are you going to do about it, man? What's up with you? You're not going to cycle anything so I can go for a hog rider? All right, at least we have a tank for the ice spirit, so now it actually gives us value, unless you want to log it. Or is he just not here? Is he just going to donate trophies to me? Let's go! We get a free win! No way! Actually, okay, uh, that's not a free win. That is definitely not a free win. <laughs> Sir, why you gotta be like this? I was so excited! And then you come back and drop a rail giant at the river. Oh my goodness. You know what? I guess he wanted to give me a little bit of a handicap. It's like Super Smash Bros. Melee. When your opponent or your friend is really bad and you're good at the game, you're like, yeah, I'll just give you a massive handicap and see if you can come back. So he's going to go in for Royal Hogs. We're going to try to go and pull everything with the cannon. We don't hit all of the Royal Hogs, but, you know, we can't deal with every single one of them. So it was actually better that we didn't pull all of them. So then the cannon survived. So we were able to finish off the Royal Hog on the left-hand lane. Right now, his tower is at 500 HP. We're probably going to beat a level 13 Royal Giant. Let's go, guys. If I get an Ice Spirit down, it's not going to reach the tower. So I need to calculatively defend this. Going for the Musketeer early on so I can cycle back to another one if he wants to Fireball or Lightning it. I don't know if he is going to, but a lot of times they do. Or sometimes they even Fireball like a level 12 or level 11 cannon. Like, I don't understand why they would do that. But so many times people will Rocket or Lightning that. Yo, he's got Mega Knight as well. Okay, guys, I'm going to activate King Tower. If you haven't seen this interaction, it is one of my favorite things to do in Clash Royale. So first and foremost, we're going to go for a Fireball on the Minion Horde. And then we're going to activate King Tower with this Ice Spirit on top of the Mega Knight. So if you don't know, now you know. Actually, you know, this probably didn't help me very much because he's got Royal Giant. You're completely useless. But that level 13 Mega Knight was exceptionally scary. And we have to dissect his push like a surgeon in every way that we possibly can. He's literally got three win conditions. How am I supposed to win this? So 
I'm going to go for an Ice Beard on top of those Royal Hogs. I can also get away with a Hog Rider on the right. The wizard dies every single time to the Musketeer. So you think that Harry Potter is a good card. I laugh at you with my Musketeer that is costing one less elixir and wins the battle with its absurdly long range. I'm going to go for a Fireball on top of the Minion Horde. I can get away with a Hog Rider and an Ice Spirit. Even if you want to go for a Royal Giant, I think we're okay. You're Skarming. Yo, let's go. I think we got him. I think we're to beat the level 13, baby! I need to get skeletons down because the Royal Giant would take my tower. I'm going to Fireball and Log. We cycled two Musketeers and we don't even got three Musketeers. We don't even need them. GG, well played and peace out. I guess my biggest advice for you guys, practice that cannon plus Ice Spirit pull to activate King Tower against Mega Knights. If you can do that, you will be winning so many more games. And that's actually where we're going to end today's video. If you're new here and you haven't already, consider subscribing for more content just like this. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to let me know by saucing out a fat thumbs up. Thanks for watching, thanks for chilling with me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.